Patrick at Pals. Well, folks, that's a brake master cylinder. So you can see it's got two ports, one for the front brakes, one for the rear brakes, and it hooks up to a booster. Now, this is a 1969 Dodge Coronet. That's the way brake master cylinders have been for years and years, except today. What is this, Lester? This is a called electronic power assist master cylinder. So that's a master cylinder. I thought this was a master cylinder. So that's a brake master cylinder. That's traditional. This is an electronic brake master cylinder. And it's going on a Lexus hybrid drive. So explain this to me. Okay, basically what you got, because you got different, um, you got a hybrid system that uses electricity to drive the car. It does have a motor assist, but because the majority of the time it's on electric, you can't use a vacuum boost type brake system on it. You have to have what they call an electronic brake system. If you see back in there, there's your master cylinder there. Here's your reservoir for the master cylinder. Right. And then what it does is send, you step on the brake and it sends power out, the fluid out to the right underneath it, which is what they call the ABS pump. The ABS pump is what controls and keeps the brakes from locking up. So on a traditional system, how does it work? So if we go back to this, to this coronet, how does this brake master get the fluid to stop the car? On this car, to have power brakes, you use this, what they call here, a brake master sound, a booster, which uses vacuum from the motor to give you the power assist to try to, to stop the car. So, in both cases, we're still using brake fluid. Right. We're still using disc, disc brake. brakes, but... We're just achieving the... This car the uses vacuum to stop the car. To use it. And this one uses electricity to stop the car. Correct, because there's a little pump in here and it builds up the pressure. When you step on it, it builds up the pressure. And folks, we've been using electric steering for quite a number of years. And now electric brakes are becoming more and more popular. Um, even on cars that aren't hybrids, you can get an electric brake system for your car. This is technology moving forward, and it's going at a very fast pace. If you've got a Lexus hybrid and you need your brake system repaired, bring it to PALS. We're equipped to do the job. See you soon.